Titration number two of standardization of sodium hydroxide using KHP. So here's the mass of KHP. Please record that. 0.469 grams of KHP. This is for my trial two. So 0.469, write that into your lab notebooks. And I'm going to transfer it just like I did in the previous video. I'm going to transfer it and I'm going to have you see the titration and record the volume again. So we're going to do a total of three titrations and hopefully it will be three good titrations. And uh, the way you would know is that the molarities would be close together. So I'm going to wet transfer the solids. So let's wet it down. And I've already set my B red to zero milliliter with sodium hydroxide and add a few drops of the indicator. And this time, if you notice the mass is higher, last uh, titration the mass was 0.411 grams. This time it's 0.469 grams. You can actually set up a ratio, a proportion and figure out the volume of sodium hydroxide and then you can sort of back away from that volume maybe by half a milliliter and start adding the last portion drop by drop very carefully or right now I know that the last titration took 20.3 uh, milliliters and this titration should take at least 20.3 plus more sodium hydroxide so I'm going to uh, just pour in 20.3 or roughly 20.5 or whatever close to that and then we're going to add the remaining drop by drop so this is going to speed up our other titrations and so let's see how we're going to do this The solution is pink because it's not mixed well. So there is my 20.3, roughly before 20.5. So notice it went away. So obviously I need to add more and that's what we predicted. So since you saw my steps in the first part titration, I'm gonna go a little slower or faster this time. So I think I'm pretty close, but maybe a few drops away again. So I'm gonna add my drops slowly. So I should be very close now. In fact, I may be, well, not yet. So I'm gonna wash the sides of the flask. Make sure there's no hanging drops of sodium hydroxide or KSP. KHP there. So I'm going to add like maybe half a drop. So to do a half a drop, I actually again, same process, I pour in, uh, I put in an equivalent of half a drop hanging and I'm going to use my uh, wash bottle to get it in. So it didn't do it, so maybe I'm not as close as I thought. But certainly within a couple drops maybe. Maybe it's a little further away, actually. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's still slightly pink. And there may be half a drop here. I don't even see half a drop, but I'm going to just wash it in. So this is still a good end point. And I can see that the color stays. Sometimes the color goes away and the color is staying. So it's pretty good. There it is. Actually, there was maybe a little bit of undissolved KHP and now everything seems to be stable and I have a slight pink, pink color and my color is starting to go away I can see slightly pink but I'm gonna just so which tells me that I'm really at the end point 
but I'm going to just verify this and get maybe less than half a drop. So this is hardly any drops here. So I'm just going to wash that in here and see where I am. So it didn't do it. Okay, there's about one full drop again. So we need to make sure that the, the color stays for maybe a minute or so. Otherwise, there's undissolved KHP in there. Remember, I sort of poured everything in. Okay, there you go. So this works. So I'm going to uh, show you the volumes. I started with zero milliliters. So please record this other volume right here. And we're going to do a third titration, and I'll show you that too.